guys! Today I'm going to show you how to make extremely delicious spaghetti bake. All the ingredients I'm using in this recipe are listed in the description just below, so please have a look. We are going to start by cooking our spaghetti first. I've cooked 500 grams of good quality spaghetti and now I'm going to leave this to cool down completely. To make the sauce, I've chopped two onions quite finely and about four celery sticks. I'm adding a little bit of rapeseed oil and I'm going to fry this now for a few minutes until everything is nice and soft. When the celery and onion are quite soft, I'm adding 700 grams of very lean meat and I'm using beef today. And now I'm going to brown this for a few minutes until I don't see any pink. Now is the time to add some seasoning. I'm adding a little bit of salt, not too much because I don't like it too much. A bit of black pepper and also some Italian herbs and I'm using basil and oregano. I'm also going to add some extra veg. I'm adding two red peppers we have chopped very finely and also 250 grams of mushrooms. You don't have to add this veg if you don't like them. However, I want my kids to eat a lot of veg. That's why I always try to hide them in everything. Now let's give this a good stir and let's cook it for about five minutes. Now we can add passata to our sauce. I'm adding 700 grams of passata. I'm just going to cook this now for about five minutes and I'm going to prepare the rest of the ingredients. Now is a good time to put your oven on to warm up. 180 degrees fan oven and also spray your baking tray with a cooking oil. In a small bowl, I put two garlic cloves which I've crushed. I'm adding 250 grams of ricotta cheese. And I'm going to mix this together until everything is nicely combined. Whisk two eggs and let's add 100 grams of grated parmesan cheese to this. And let's whisk this again. Now we can take our parmesan and eggs. We're going to add this to the pasta, which is completely cold now. And we're going to give this a good stir to make sure everything is nicely coated. And just get your hands dirty and make sure everything is nicely coated. To assemble our bake, I'm going to put half of the pasta, which we prepared earlier, right at the bottom. And let's just layer this so it's nice and level. Now we're going to put half of the ricotta cheese and again just scatter it and just flap it down so you kind of spread it as much as you, as you can. Now let's add half of the meat mixture and again let's flap it out so it's nice and level everywhere, just spread it out. Now we're going to sprinkle this with about 125 grams of grated mozzarella cheese. Look, this is looking delicious already. And now we're going to repeat the process. So we're going to put the spaghetti first, then ricotta cheese, meat and mozzarella again. Let's cover this with the foil. I'm going to bake this now in the oven for half an hour. After that, I'm going to remove the foil and I will bake for further 10 minutes. Spaghetti bake has just come out from the oven and have a look. It looks absolutely delicious, very appetizing. I've made a big portion of the spaghetti bake. It will keep in the fridge for up to four days. I hope you like this recipe. Make sure you give me a thumbs up, comment just below and remember to subscribe.